Hey there, Funk00 here, bringing you another video of beautiful Yakutat Bay. As you can see, I've um, expanded the areas a little bit that use the new terrain and tree mod. Um, although there still does remain quite a lot to be converted and a lot of careful demolition will be involved with that. Um, but I'll probably end up just doing almost all of it in one day one of these days, whenever I have the time and the motivation, I suppose. Anyway, my idea for today was that I would build a new mountain village kind of from the ground up, somewhere up in uh, this quadrant of the region, because I think it's about time I further expanded a field, and it would make for an interesting video, I think. Uh, yeah, so, but in the meantime, I actually want to get rid of a lot of farms over here, because as you can see, I built them using the old terrain mod which looked like this so it was all green and they didn't look so out of place but now they're well above the snow line so they do kind of stand out too much uh, anyway i'll meet you in that tile to do that okay so here we are in the jurisdiction of longbow uh wow a lot of messages where as you can see it's probably the most isolated settlement in the region so far so uh it's the only one in the whole region actually that utilizes dirt roads in the center of town over here although there are some paved residential roads in other areas anyway it's pretty clear to see i mean just look at how much these farms stand out against the terrain colors it's pretty clear that uh, they almost all have to go it's a shame because i really like how this area turned out definitely an area with a lot of unique character uh, but uh, we're going to be getting rid of most of it now and it might be a little laggy as I uh, dezone vast areas just because that's how the game often is with some of these farms uh, but it, uh, hopefully this segment of the video will be over fast because with the concept that I told you about a moment ago, it definitely does have the potential to turn into one of those monster videos. And, ooh, I did not mean to demolish that corner of that residential zone. Uh, over here, uh, this dirt road is just going to go all together. So, it should be pretty simple to reconstruct the paved area. Yep, just like that. And, yeah, the paved roads go off into other tiles. I'm, I don't think this one connects to anything yet, but this one eventually connects, uh, I think, uh, another farming area and uh, maybe some more residential zones before it uh, eventually reaches the highway again. Alright, so got to be a little bit more careful with demolishing... Uh, next to uh, these residential zones, but you know, I think I just got rid of a bunch even. Yeah. I'll try to replace what I get rid of, just because that's the courteous thing to do, right? So I believe there were zones there. Over here... Mm, this agricultural area I think can go all together, but I think I will uh, keep that dirt road stub. And maybe have a few houses at the end of it, sort of in the valley there. Yeah, yeah, that looks perfect. Some people who have plenty of space to live. Alright. So, I think that might be an agricultural building, but uh, I guess we're going to keep it. Hmm. Okay, so over here should be a pretty simple task to... Uh, what's... Ah, uh, that's a single tile house, huh? Yep. Alright, just that one little patch and that whole area is gone. Anyway, over here I think I'll 
try to preserve that tiny commercial building there. And the houses over here. Alright. Very nice. Uh, this is going pretty smoothly so far, I would say. Whoop. Cool, cool, cool. And now I've just got to get rid of the remnants of this one field. Alright, so we're almost already kind of most of the way there with demolishing the farms I wanted to get rid of. The rest should be fairly simple. For instance, all of this needs to go. Yeah, at least that much. Probably this wheat farm has to go too. Ooh, just realized I did demolish a few houses there though, so I'll rezone those as soon as I regain control, which is a moment ago. Hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, I think that this dirt farm here definitely needs to go. And you know what? I could also definitely stand to turn that curve into a smooth curve now that I have the opportunity. So let me uh, get that ready really quick. It's under rural roads down here. The dirt road smooth curves that is. Alright, perfect. Mm. So if I'm getting rid of all that stuff, I should probably also uh, demolish this farm. Okay, and that was all part of the farm zone too, so that was easy to get rid of. And over here, alright, again got rid of some zones, but again not a big deal. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll keep the remaining farms, but actually my new terrain tree mod doesn't um, allow trees at quite the as high of an altitude as the earlier one, so I don't think any of these trees here would have been possible to plant uh, using a new one, so I'm going to get rid of them just so that they don't contrast neighboring tiles too much. I won't get rid of all the trees because some are going to be a lot less noticeable, but uh, definitely a fair amount of these need to go. Yeah, I think pretty much everything below the farms, more or less, will get to stay as far as trees. But everything in these extra snowy areas definitely needs to leave. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. But yeah, this is looking pretty clean. Uh, it's always a little tricky to get clean looking demolished areas and trees, you know, if you aren't going for that rectangular feel. But um, it seems like it's not too much of an issue today. Well, these bushes, you know, they aren't super dense on like a lot of things, so they tend to look a bit more natural no matter what you do with them. Uh, okay. And I think I'll make some more clearings just for shits and giggles. Alright, so, uh, hmm. I believe I've got some more trees to demolish up here, though. Yep. Uh, 
I uh, don't want to completely get rid of that dirt road though. So I'll just do like this. Alright, got rid of a road stub too. Interesting. A few more bushes around there, but I think that, you know, those few, that's a number we can keep. Um, so, just to sort of prove it to myself, I'm going to make sure that no new bushes grow using a new tree controller in the same spots. Anything there? Nope. Uh, no, not even at the lowest altitudes of this map. So that's a good thing I got rid of those trees. Anyway, I'll meet you back in just a minute and we'll see how these zones develop in. Okay, so it is a little bit more than one year later. And I let a few more zones come in. Anyway, I figured I would give you just another quick overview of this place before... I leave probably for good, never to return in another recording again. Uh, so anyway, one other thing we can check out, which we have to do for it to display right once I save it, is uh, the traffic view. And it looks like there is a fair bit of traffic on the main paved highway through here, which is to be expected, I suppose, given that it is just a street and it's one of only a couple paved roads in the area. Uh, but anyway, I think that this turned out pretty cool, uh, did all I needed to, and I guess I'll meet you back in the region view. So back in the region view, I think it's fair to say that uh, the upper line of the farms, sort of where they stop because the altitude just gets to high, it looks a lot cleaner and just better in general now. Um, anyway, the first thing that we have to do in order to start a new town from scratch is to will figure out where the highway through it is going to go and as you can see here let me switch to transportation view as you can see I have an RHW2 which is a uh, 50 mile an hour or so two lane road that sort of traverses the entire region right now from the undeveloped tile at the far south along the eastern side through Joinville through a series of mountain passes through the heart of Jamaica and kind of on north through the whole northern glacier plain area up to where it will branch off and eventually um, those two branches will reach a town where actually there will be a few towns in this area and also a fair sized town in this area which that highway will be the main connection for there will also be more new connections to the east so for the mountain town I was thinking of making, uh, maybe it could be, say, in, in this tile, or I don't know, maybe up here, one of those two I think. Yeah, probably in this tile up here actually. Uh, no, no, it's going to be down here. I changed my mind pretty quick, but yeah. Anyway, I'll meet you in here where we'll realign the highway in order to make that work. Alright, talk about a stark landscape. Well, let's zoom out really quick. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is going on in this tile. Um, as you can see, I already did a little bit of terraforming in order to get my highway there to fit through that ridge. These trees, though, would definitely not grow under the new terrain mod and so they all are going to have to go similar to the trees in the other tile. Thankfully this time it's a much quicker and easier job. Alright so man just a lot of barren snow fields around here. Uh, man let me turn on the grid really quick get an idea for these slopes and as high up as it is it's actually rather flat so I think I want the highway the new town to go sort of uh, is this a good idea yeah yeah I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna have it sort of stretch along the ridge line there and in order to make that work 
this old alignment is going to be destroyed entirely. Bam! That's a lot of roadway to destroy. Alright. So now there's going to have to be a rather much quicker uh, transition to uh, east-west alignment. So let me drag this down a little ways so that I have an idea of where it is going. And over here, man, it's just kind of a very simple intersection. But I think I should keep the highway straight for the same distance on both sides, just for safety issues. So this will be actually a rather low radius curve as far as highway curves go. But, um... On the other hand, though, it will be... I mean, I'll definitely have signage up there. And... Yeah, it won't be the lowest radius curve I've ever built on a major highway either. Okay, so we actually don't have all that much room here for additional fractional angle stuff. But I'm going to try to fit in all I can. Uh, where's FAR? Yeah. Alright. Uh, can I maybe do it like this, I wonder? I've got to demolish the tile. Alright, yeah, that should be good, though. Oh, no, don't tell me. Gotta build it one more time already. Ah, and I totally screwed up too. And let's just draw it like that. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more terraforming this time too. Not something I'm particularly proud of, but that's just how it is this time. Sometimes, I mean, a lot of that goes on in building real-life highways, too, so there is that to consider, that truth. Alright, and it looks like it's roughly an even curve. I, I, I don't know, I don't think it worked out too bad. It's plenty of space, if you ask me. So... Let's get uh, the rest of the roadway into place and figure out the signage for this road. Alright, so, um, first off, it looks like I forgot to sign the upcoming intersection over there, so I'm going to do that now, trying to give as much extra space as possible for drivers to sort of think about it. And, uh, actually, I'm going to have one right next to the intersection as well. Just because there are so few intersections around here, it seems like an intelligent idea for to have a little bit of redundant signage. Hmm. Now, where's the other one I want? Yeah, I want a uh, T intersection left. Ah, uh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'll do it uh, roughly equivalent distance, I think, right as people sort of cap the uh, cap the grade there. Actually, I'll do it a couple tiles back because that looks to be more symmetrical. But still in the same general area. And, hmm, let's get the other T intersection piece, just like that, and down there, yeah, yeah, looks good. Okay, so, further signage, uh, we want the 90 degree curves, because these are some pretty extensive curves put them a couple tiles before because that's probably where it's most useful. Um, 
So we should have the left turn, I guess, further up. Yes. Alright, looking good. And, uh... Just zoom out really quick, see what the intersection looks like in general. Yeah, I think that's fine. It keeps the main route sort of main, even though that does create a more complicated shape, but yeah. What can you do? I think it looks great. So I will meet you in the next tile over, I suppose. Okay, so I actually also went ahead and went into this tile and created a little bit more highway, just branching off north and east, so that there's something for cr traffic to connect to once I get to building the town in this tile. And without further ado, I think I will finally get started on that and meet you in the tile. Alright, here we are, and man, again, what a bleak landscape. I sh We're going to build a town here, but I sure would hate to live anywhere that looked like this in real life. So, okay, um, first thing we need to do is name the city, and I have a little bit of a list of potential names I wrote up earlier today which is hard to read because it's in pencil. Uh, okay. Okay. You know what? I think I'm going to go with um, Strictville. I think it's an excellent name because it uh, evokes sort of the Spartan nature of this community. And it's also an homage to a fellow YouTuber, uh, Strict Toaster, who makes some great Banished videos, uh, uh, probably one of the best Banished, banished cr video creators out there, or, you know, if not the best, one of the two or three best. Uh, and in one of the comments, in the comments to his most recent Banished video, he uh, replied to my comment and said that he enjoyed my videos, so I probably wouldn't be recording today if it weren't for that sort of reminding me of the need to keep it going, so I figure, why not make a little homage? Alright, so uh, this is going to be a bit rough. It looks like I'm going to have to... I would love it if I could make only fractional angle curves in this tile, but it looks like I'm going to have to go 45 degrees. A little bit further up. Let me get my uh, FARHW. Uh, okay. Might as well start it a little bit early right here. And. Uh, might be a little bit messy to just do it like this without preparing the slope, but. Um, I'm just gonna build stuff out for a little bit. Okay, that should be good, right? Yeah, that should be good. So in the meantime, I might as well... I really should get started fixing this slope up. It's not in the meantime at all, but... Eh, you know what I mean. It's just a convenient thing to say sometimes. Okay, and just by flattening things a bit, it looks like I'm able to solve most of my problems. So that's good news. So I should be able to just place these all and the slope should be pretty much golden. Yeah, yeah, that looks much better. There's still a bit of an abrupt slope right there which I really might as well fix while I'm at it. Yeah, that should be plenty, shouldn't it? Um, okay, get these last two pieces in place. And now we are safe to go diagonal. Perfect. How long should this diagonal be? 
Uh, seems like to about here seems appropriate. Anyway, let me just repair the slope right there a teeny tiny bit where I intend to uh, place my next transition to fractional angle. Yeah, just like that. Uh, so I'll do the same thing I did earlier and probably have to redo much of it this time too. Uh, so far though it's looking very smooth, which is just what I was hoping for. Although there are definitely a couple spots that I think are in a bit more desperate need of attention. So, seems fairly like a fairly safe bet to demolish that stuff all the way through there. And then just draw the straight connection. Hopefully avoiding that bump. There we go. That looks marginally better. Dislike this dip here. Why can't I just have it be parallel to that? Ugh. Ugh. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just try to redo this the rough way. Okay. So hopefully that will improve things. Ah, uh, not really. Damn it. What do I have to do here? Actually, I think I know damn well what I have to do. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> and it is that. Tile by tile flat. Okay, so, yeah, it's starting to look better. I think I will keep it like that. That's yeah, pretty cool. The highway kind of stretches between two peaks here. I think it, yeah, I definitely like that effect. So, without further ado, I'm going to just uh, sign up some of the hazardous curves. Um using my yellow signs. Alright. So where's the uh, right turn sign? There it is. Uh, right there looks right. No pun intended. Oh! You know what? Um, I, I actually, with this kind of curve, I think I have a more appropriate kind of sign I could use, so let's get rid of that. Since it is technically a huge elongated S-curve. So wasn't that further up? Eh, maybe not, but at least it got me looking from the top. Alright, there we go. that in place and where's S curve to the left there we are just like that okay cool cool so now um, I think that the next important step in this is to figure out where the village is going to go and I think that right around here would actually be 
a pretty strong placement. So let me try to flatten some of this land, not too much obviously, but just a little bit. And we will get started on this mountain town by building some street networks. Oh wow, 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 that is just not doable. So got to be a little bit careful about the slopes here because it's pretty easy to mess them up. Oh man, textbook example right there. Good. Or maybe I actually want to keep it this way. Do I? No, I don't think so. Yeah, definitely not. So I'm going to relocate some of this stuff. Do it like that and uh, make sure the highway continues as it should. Alright, great. And I think I'll have three intersections for this town. That seems like a fairly nice round number for this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. That looks good. Uh, and then, yeah, this is, if it wasn't clear already, it's going to be a gridded town. And it's going to be a pretty small one at that. Uh, whoops. Here. I think I'm doing that wrong. Yeah, yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. So there will be a little bit of a curvy road coming off this way, I suppose. And there's going to be some sort of feature at the end of it. Maybe just more housing, but who knows. Alright, over here. Uh, could always have both of these roads continue as cul-de-sacs. And then on the south side, it does get a lot steeper, so... Mm, maybe more of a tiered road structure would be appropriate here. I'll try to get started on that. Try to fix these slopes just a tiny bit, however much I can. Yeah, yeah, that's a little bit of an improvement. So it's all good. And... What I meant with the tiered road structure was something along the lines of this. Okay. So this is going to be a very simple small town. I don't expect that in SimCity 4 terms it will have a population of more than, say... Well, actually, I might as well expand the street network a little bit further before I declare things done. So there does seem to be a little bit more flat land in this direction. So yeah, I created kind of a quasi-block thing going over there. And I could probably have another cul-de-sac like this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that looks a lot more like a town I want to have. And, hmm, just trying to think about how I want to do this. Uh, 
Okay. So I don't think it would be a bad idea to turn the RHW2 into an NWM network, just so I can have the zones fronting on it, really. But also, you know, towns like this very frequently do uh, have some kind of custom solution for highways running through them. So, I'll maybe give just a couple more tiles on either side for the transition. And, yeah, TLA3 sounds like it's probably the best bet. So I'll do one of those transitions on both sides. Yeah. And we definitely want to have sort of the minimum possible distance. Uh, before the transition. So yeah, it looks like Already, that's pretty much what we had, unfortunately. But, yeah, this looks fine like this. So I think we'll live. So, every town really needs a reason for people to live there. And, uh, well... Okay, I think that it's all sort of written prosaically. Yeah, perfect. That sheet will allow me to access all my gifts. And if I remember right, I have a few mods installed that should give me something that would qualify sort of as that basic, um, what's it called? Economic engine. So a toxic waste dump. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like the kind of thing you'd have have way out here in the middle of bumfuck in the mountains. So, I think I'll build that right here. And, in order to make it work properly, should probably, or not properly, but in order to make it look like I want, should probably have a dirt road. Yeah, and I guess just a diagonal intersection somewhere around here is about as good as it gets. Although I really want it to be oriented in that direction. Yes. That seems about perfect. So now would be a good time to put those smooth curves in. Alright, so economically that has already sort of one ace in the hole for the town. It should be a constant source of income. Now well, let's try to find just one or two more things. Hmm. Federal prison? Does it actually look... No, that doesn't look like a real prison at all. So I'm not going to use it. Uh... Okay, I'm just going to do one more pass. If not, I think I'm going to try to put something for industry instead. If I don't see something perfect, I mean. Maybe like a coal mine or something. Uh, eh. Well, a post office, at least, is something that won't look out of place here. Yeah, yeah, like right there. Yeah. That would be kind of a nice centerpiece to our town. And, ooh, that's actually not the best spot. So I'm going to scroll down one more time. Uh, just looking for my post office. And place it against that street there, because I want this to be some kind of park. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it blank, honestly, and have it kind of be like a snowy park. Yeah. I don't know, it just seems like a, it might be the sort of thing that would look least out of place, uh, given the types of... Um,
given the types of what's it called you know stuff out here oh yeah given the snowy terrain uh, this doesn't look so good no oh, no no it's fine great just the result I wanted And, yep, it looks like I can rebuild everything, so that's exactly how it was supposed to be. So I'll have four little uh, seating areas at the edge of the snow that'll be cleared, but the majority of it would presumably be open grassy area, and that is covered in snow this time of year, up here at least. So as far as creating an economic engine for the town, maybe have some kind of huge industrial zone, on either side of the main area. That yeah, seems like a fair bet. Uh, and some sort of commercial activity in the town. It really doesn't need to be too much though. And yeah, I might as well have a few, more than one storefront. But that's about it. So the rest of it should just be residential zones pretty much and yeah I think that Central Park was a pretty good idea it's been too long since I've done something similar to it alright Alright, so I'm just sort of trying to place zones, not too densely, I'm trying to imagine what housing density looks like in real life rural areas as I do this. Yeah, not even all the grid streets are really going to have that much, that many zones against them. Alright. I think this should be good though. Yeah, yeah, I like I like the tiered effect that I'm getting here. That's exactly what I was talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah, so that's the upper part of the city sort of taken care of. And there's most of the lower part. Mm. Probably it would be a good idea to build just a couple more zones along the main road. Since it should be the one sort of place that can support that kind of thing. And... That about covers it. Um, as far as what else to do, I think that this area should have two bus stops. Alright. Yeah, this is going to be a very, very simple area um, as compared to a lot of the ones I make and a small one. but hopefully it should be all interesting. So since it's a small area and I think there's a fair amount of time left, I'll watch the time run on camera, except I won't because I apparently forgot to do power, trash, and all those important things. Alright, wow, wow, very, very talky.
Uh, so what would be a good site for that kind of stuff? Over here looks kind of promising. After all, I don't really want to put it somewhere that would ruin a beautiful view. Uh, yeah, yeah, and lots of sensitive environments around here too. Uh, so, you know what? I'm going to stop vacillating and keep vacillating apparently. Yeah, I'll just build it off from this side of town I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright. So I'll build a dirt road kind of going south to this relatively flat area over here, which really isn't all that flat. And get my utility stuff. The waste facility is the largest one, of course. So I'll build that first. Mm. And might as well make this uh, road dirt right away. Unsuitable grade, really. be able to fix that. There we go. Looks just fine. And then also around here I could probably stand to place my power facility. I'm probably good on just just running on a couple substations honestly. there at the end of the dirt road I guess. And actually I'll try to make it line up with the base texture a little bit better. Yeah, that's okay I guess. Now, as far as water facilities, Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that right? No, that looks like nine. As far as water facilities, I think that I'll just have a little spring at the end of the dirt road over here. And that should be enough. It's a very small town. And it'll have a few trees around it, which look a bit out of place at this altitude, but uh, there's no avoiding some, and there will be more around the residential buildings, of course. So one other thing I could do while I'm here is uh, create a little parking lot for the commercial area, so that people passing through town will have plenty which there probably won't be too many of. We'll have plenty of uh, space if they want to uh, patronize one of the two local businesses. So isn't there a good one like a 3 by 2 I guess that's probably the best I can do. Yeah, I can put that right there. And I don't really need it to connect that way. Yeah, yeah, that should be perfect, honestly. So now let's just let the ten town develop for a while. Seems to be doing fairly well. It's pretty much fully developed already. No traffic throughout the tile. That's a rare one. And yeah. Yeah, it looks good. There's one person without a job, but uh, because it's only one person, 
That means I should be safe to just demolish that. Or no, no, I'm getting more. Fuck. Maybe something industrial over in the area of this stuff. I do have plenty of industrial demand. Okay, yeah, that's exactly the kind of building I was thinking about appearing there. But it's still not enough to resolve our demand problems. Um, you know what? I'm just going to keep the demand problems because it's realistic for super isolated rural areas in real life to have issues like that. So, um... Let's get rid of those Zots, because I don't want to think about them. And, uh, we can improve the look of that road there by, uh, filling in some base texture. Wow, I, if I say so myself, I think this town looks pretty good. Uh, I can improve a couple more, uh, do a couple more sidewalk slash base texture improvements there and there. Um, definitely up here as well. And, yeah, that about covers it, I think. Yep. So, uh, I definitely enjoyed making this video. Uh, it was really something quite simple, but you got to see my style when I'm building these tiny areas without a lot of without any of the one steps in the process taking too long, which is rare. Um, yeah. Uh, so I'm not sure what I'll do next time, but I'll be sure to make it cool. And I just figured I'd turn on the recording one more time to show you the zoomed out view of this place. And from different angles, you can really appreciate the slope a lot from some of these angles. A lot more than the default view, at least. Yeah, so that's about it. Uh, see you next time.